Hey, can you do a dance move? Sure thing. Watch this. Hello, fellow developers. Welcome to our tutorial on customizing metahuman animations for convey powered AI characters in Unreal Engine. Adding custom animations for metahumans can be quite challenging for developers. By following this step by step tutorial, developers can easily add custom animations to their convey powered metahumans and also learn how to customize the animation blueprint for actions like talking, interacting, and looking at the user. Convey enables a seamless integration for AI characters you design on the playground with your metahuman avatars allowing them to perform really complex animations, such as fetching items or even simple actions like dance moves, all with or without your input. In this video, we'll teach you how to add a simple animation to your metahuman, integrate that action with Convey, and share quick tips on customizing the animation blueprint for metahumans. We'll also look at logic for character interactions, such as having them look at the camera. Let's get started. Here we have a dance animation downloaded from the Reillusion website. Let's check it out. We want to get our character to do this animation. First, let's create a montage. Right click on the animation, go to Create, and select Create Animation Montage. Once that's done, go to Asset Details and modify the blend time for your animation. I've modified the blend in time, and now I'll repeat this process for the blend out time. Before we test the animation, let's go to the character blueprint. Here, we can drag out executable actions and type in Play Montage. Finally, we'll add the body component, connect it to the skeletal mesh component, and select the dance animation to play. Let's hit Play and test it out. Okay, now that the animation is working, let's see how we can integrate it with Convey. We'll start by enabling the Convey Action System. Go to Edit, Project Settings, and then scroll down until you find Convey, and enable the new Action System. Next, click on your character, and in the details, go to Actions and add a new action. Let's name it Dances. Now the character can dance among other actions like moving and following. The last thing to do is to call this action in the blueprint. Let's go to the character blueprint again. We can remove the delay component since we no longer need it. Create a new event with the same name as the action we created, in our case, dances. Connect this to the play montage event. It's crucial to drag your convey chatbot component and run handle action completion. Check the is successful option. This tells the plugin that the action was successful and whether another action needs to be executed afterward. If you don't call the handle action completion, it will never execute any action after this one because it will think it is still dancing. So this is a way to tell your character that it's finished the action. All right, this was all about setting up actions for metahumans in Convey. Now let's dive into some super cool tips and tricks for customizing animation blueprints and logic. First, to access the animation blueprint, which contains all the logic for animations, select one of your characters and open its blueprint. On the character skeleton, you'll find the animation class for the body. Double click to open it. Starting with the body animation on the left, you'll see a few animation layers. For example, there's an idle animation layer. This logic checks if the character is focusing on the player, whether they're listening, thinking, or interacting. Depending on this, it randomly selects one of several animations. We have around eight different idle animations to make the character's behavior feel varied. To demonstrate, I'll hold Alt and click here to disable the random selection logic. Now, if you want to use a specific idle animation, drag it in, type play, and the animation name. For example, if you have an idle animation called idle01, you type its name here. This will ensure that it always plays the specified idle animation. You can see the character always plays this animation instead now. Okay, let's change it back. Next, we'll look at the talking animation layer. 
Here we have two animations, one for the body and one for the head. For the body animation, we noticed the hand motion was too exaggerated. So we added logic to keep the hands and neck more stable. By double clicking on the animation, you can see the adjustments we made. This part adjusts the talking animation based on the character's speed. If the character is moving quickly, it switches to a non-talking animation. This node caches the animation without talking, and when the character is not moving, it uses the talking animation. For the head animation, we found an animation with nice head movements, and blended it with the talking animation, replacing the neck animation while keeping the rest intact. This ensures smooth head movements during conversation. If the character is talking, all of this logic applies. Otherwise, it uses a cached, non-talking animation. To use your own talking animation, disable the existing logic and replace it with your own. For instance, if your talking animation is called mhtalk03, type its name here to replace the existing setup. Now let's go to the animation graph, focusing on the body layer. You may not need the IK animation, which makes minor adjustments to the body. Experiment by bypassing it and see if it improves your results. You'll need to compile to check the changes. Next, we'll look at the face animation, specifically eye movement. In the character blueprint, go to the face animation blueprint. Here you'll find logic for emotions and eye movement. Sometimes the character doesn't look directly at the player, which is intentional to avoid staring. You can remove this by deleting the logic in the event graph under set eye rotation. Delete everything in this white box to ensure the character is always looking at the player. To ensure the character looks directly at the camera, Search for the look exactly at camera variable and set it to true. This makes the character always look at the camera, which is useful in first person perspectives. If the camera is in a different location than the player's eyes, this adjustment ensures accurate eye contact. So these are some quick tips and hints about animations and logic for metahumans. I hope you found this helpful. Let's test out our character actions one last time. Can you do another dance move here? Absolutely. Here comes another dance just for you. So this was all about setting up actions and customizing animation blueprints for metahumans in convey-powered Unreal Engine projects. We hope you found it helpful. If this tutorial was helpful, please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy game development. As always, come by our Discord for any questions or write to us at support at convey.com.